I'm cool with reforming things, right? The BBC, the NHS, no institution should be protected from reform, Change, from innovation. From of course not. I think the rubber hits the road, though, when you start to say, well, what should change? Um, and, you know, I, I think there's a case for a, a social insurance model. Something I think weird about NHS debates in this country, people say if you're reforming it, you're turning it into a US-style privatised yeah. system. That, it's not the case. There's lots of alternative models uh, across Europe. But actually, there's, there's a lot to be said about the model that we have in the United Kingdom um, for having a kind of single-payer it allows you to have more coordination. And it means that, for example, we have basically a single pool of data. It's been very controversial trying to open that data up for research and innovation. But it is a unique asset yeah. for research for us to be actually kind of healthcare life science leaders because of the way we run our NHS. So I, I just there's a danger with this kind of piece from Melanie Phillips that it feels like it's kind of setting up a bit of a straw man as saying nobody ever says we should reform the NHS. Actually, I've been working in politics for 20 years. The problem with the NHS often is it keeps being reformed and they keep screwing yes. it up in yeah. new ways.